Aquarius, welcome back. It's Priestess and Medium Rosalind, welcome back. Thanks for being part of the Soul Family, Aquarius. I hope you're blessed and well and safe. I hope your family's safe. I hope you're prospering and moving along. This is going to be your general love energy read for, you know, this last week of July up through August. Um, <clears throat> the readings have been going pretty good. They've been kind of intense. Some of the signs really are kind of intense, but there's a lot of changes in our environment and our world right now. And I think it's really affecting our relationships, Aquarius, you know, and it's almost that energy of, you know, trying to understand and gaining wisdom on how to please you know, the relationship energies on both sides, you know, looking at this person differently when we're under stress and we have a lot of tower moments, you know, how is it really that we see this person? Does it change, you know, Aquarius? Um, I want to thank you all for your private reads, for your subscriptions, for your thumbs up, for sharing my videos. Thank you very much. And I also want to say the phone readings are going very well. There's other specials on my website. You can check that below, Aquarius, okay? So let's get into your love energy read, okay? So this is going to show possibly energy, connection, thoughts, fears, anything that may be happening now in your relationship, Aquarius. All right, let's get into this. Mother, Father, God, bless the Holy Spirit. Please show us. What Aquarius should know right now about their love energy and their relationship? Love energy now for Aquarius. Love energy for Aquarius. Okay, let's see. One popped. Five of Cups. So there could have been a possible breakup. Hmm. Let's see here. Five of Cups, Goddess of Cups. Yeah, um, it looks like there's been a lot of fears ignited here, Aquarius. So there could have been a breakup or a threat of a breakup. Um, it could be with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, someone with a lot of water in their chart, Aquarius. And then I've seen, you know, the swords here where someone is really bound up with a lot of anxiety. Um, I'm being told someone has a lot of guilt also. Um, yeah, there's healing needed, but this is like guilt from, it could have been because someone spoke too harshly. That's almost what it feels like. Someone spoke really harshly, like there was an argument and it affected one of you or you, you know, vice versa through this heart energy of the cups. Like someone was really willing to give and to be open. It could be a mother, it could be children involved. And this person, you know, they they experience some pain from the other person speaking or acting too harshly. Um, and this feeling of, hmm, I feel like it was an issue of uh, commitment, Aquarius. That's what it feels like. There was some kind of issue with commitment. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Wow. <clears throat> so, Aquarius, what's happening here, it looks like... You receive some messages and energy information from your partner, okay? Um, and it looks like you feel left out because the information, you know, the energy, the arguing, you know, their actions may have been really harsh, making you feel that you're left out. You're left out of plans. You're left out of the love, uh, the attention you need, a lot of competition, you know, especially with this deck, the Five of Swords is like a lot of competition and leaving someone really left, you know, hurt and wounded. So that's what I feel this Five of Cups is about. The information, the energy, and the actions between you and this person are really, really harsh. And it leaves it, you know, like you really need the safe space to um, feel comfortable again, to feel secure in your own relationship. Let's see some. Yeah, it involves something kind of heavy. I feel like it might have affected two of you, you know, the both of you really affected the two of you. And there could be children involved, you know, there could be a lot of we put time and energy into this, trying to make it right, trying to make it work, you know, and you may be in that space of, wow, I thought this might grow. I thought we might be able to heal one another with problems. 
and then it kind of went left on you because you're looking for you know healing from you know being left out of your own you know your own feeling of comfort your own love your own relationship so it's like you're you're looking for a safe space okay so with this kind of energy with the six of swords someone could decide they're going to move you know someone could decide i'm going to take a break from this because it's just too much going on it's too much fighting it's getting a little too crazy with that five of swords here let's see what else is going on yeah someone actually walked away so for some of you aquariuses <laughs> someone actually left and said bye bye yeah six of swords eight of cups someone may have especially if the two of you haven't known each other very long Aquarius someone could ghost you know someone may have ghosted you or you them because what's happening is the wheel is going to turn it's going to move regardless so for some of you the wheel is going to be that perfect energy for you to go ahead and leave you know to find peace of mind forgiveness happiness to find some peace for some of you this wheel is like you know I'm going to try and go deeper so that I can finally get the emotional fulfillment I need to go back to this person. What else is this about here? Mother, Father, God, Holy Spirit. What else is going on here? What was all the arguing about? Let's see. Yeah, defense. Someone's really on the defense, not really able to talk and make decisions in that kind of space here. What else is going on? What else is going on here? What else is happening here? What else is happening here? Huh, looks like someone may decide that they would rather be single, okay? So it could be some player energy going on here. It really could. If this person is speaking harshly, Aquarius, okay? They're speaking harshly. They don't have a problem with leaving, you know, moving on, being competitive. This person may want to remain single, okay? It's almost like, this person may have decided to block you out. You see what I'm saying? It's like they may have decided I'm blocking you out so that I can be free. And that's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, I feel like this could either be a very passionate fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you're dealing with Aquarius, or this could be someone who has a lot of water in their chart, a lot of emotion. But it's almost like they are someone who does not have a firm enough foundation to say, okay, I'm going to tough this out no matter what it is, or I'm going to balance this where I'm not being cruel. I'm not being harsh. I care enough about sharing and the other person to have a balance. This person, Aquarius, they may not have all of that heart energy and emotion going. Okay. So they may not have such a problem with blocking you out this almost looks like they may have changed the phone number. They may have um, changed, you know, their communication and contact or decided that they were going to not only break it off, but maybe move. That's kind of what this looks like. Someone who would go ahead and, you know, move on and let their self shine, you know, nine of pentacles and the queen of wands, like they really care for themselves a lot. Wow. Okay, Aquarius, that is your love energy read right now. Um, <clears throat> so I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. I mean, these readings are kind of heavy. I mean, they're really kind of intense, but I think some of it is because, Aquarius, there is so much energy going on in our environment, you know, and we're not exactly as we were four or five months ago. Okay. All right. Take care, Aquarius. Have a blessed rest of your day. Bye-bye.